Well, there are two main ones, I think, which are now being sort of uh, promoted very actively. One are uh, this whole issue of uh, carbon uh, offsets, carbon credits. In fact, it's now also extending to the so-called blue economy. And we hear about potential for perhaps utilizing the carbon which is captured by things like seaweeds and, and seagrass uh, in the marine environment. Obviously, those uh, marine, the marine environment, the grasses and so on, needs to be protected. But to try and uh, uh, use that in the, in the longer term for getting credits uh, by, by the partners or by countries which are promoting that, I think it seems a little bit, uh, I think, far-fetched at this stage. Look, planting trees and mangroves is a good thing, but there's a lot of this green washing, I think, and, and we see that companies like our own Fiji Airways claiming that they will offset uh, their emissions by, by planting trees. Now, no one has really looked at the, the details, calculations, and, and some of these are then uh, passed on to other companies abroad who are using that to basically, again, justify continued use of fossil fuels and not looking at uh, alternatives in terms of carbon emissions. So the fear is that a lot of these big companies or companies which will use these sorts of offset to basically not reduce use of uh, fossil fuels and, and therefore their carbon footprints. Loss and damage is hugely important. Uh, Pacific Islands are the least uh, as far as emissions are concerned, are probably amongst the least emitting nations. I think that our total cumulative emissions is less than 0.03% of the total. So really, but the impacts, of course, we are at the front line. And, and the losses are range from really submergence of whole island, dislocation of communities, and some of the places which is culturally and traditionally so, so dear to, to people. So, so these losses, which are, some of them are even non-economic losses. We're talking about the losses of, of uh, culture, languages, and, and the whole sort of people. So the loss and damage, I think, is, is of, of extremely important because we are at a stage where some of these, uh, we've got to the tipping points where adaptation will not be able to deal with some of the losses which are being felt uh, due to climate change. The, the issues which are very uh, relevant to the Pacific, like loss and damage, and of course financing and some facilities which will allow countries to, to be compensated for some of the, the losses which, which they cannot really adapt to. But as, as a precursor to that, there needs to be a lot more funding for adaptation. I mean, if we can adapt, then we won't incur those losses and therefore the damages will be minimized. And so I think that's one of our key demands. The, the one and a half degrees temperature goal still remains very critical to the small island because we are now seeing the dis disaster effects even at 1.1 degree and every fraction of a degree matters. At one and a half degrees, I think there would be some very, very um, drastic uh, impacts. And, and uh, that's one other uh, issue which is extremely important to the Pacific.